Hello you guys and welcome to today's video is a pack with me or a brief overview of what I am packing to take with us on our two week vacation to Disney World and Indian Rocks Beach with our family of five. So there's myself, Sarah, my husband, Matt, and our three kids. Aubrey is nine, Ben is seven, and Kyle is six. Let's get to it. We are officially two days away from leaving for our epic two week trip. We are so excited. I've started packing a few things the last couple of weeks. I have the kids stuff finalized in these carry-ons and I will open them up and go through them and show you what we are bringing for them um, along with what I have packed for myself. Matt still has to pack for himself tonight and tomorrow. And then I've got a couple of like miscellaneous stuff that I'm bringing too that I'll talk you through. So. Let me turn you around. I will open the kids' suitcases up and I will show you how we have everything organized and our strategy. Okay, you guys, so before I jump in and start talking through kind of the packing, um, what I'm taking um, and showing you all of the things, I wanted to do a quick update and let you know my thought process behind packing. So obviously this is a two week trip. Um, we will be leaving Friday and driving Friday over to Atlanta, spending the night with my sister and brother-in-law. So excited to see them. So we'll be spending the night with them on Friday. Saturday, we wake up, we will drive to uh, my aunt and uncle's house over in Lakeland, and we will spend some time with them, and then we will head on over to the beach in Indian Rocks. From there, we will be from Saturday to the following Saturday morning in Indian Rocks. Same condo, BRBO, so should be fairly easy. Um, well, made it easy as far as packing is concerned. Um, we do have a washer and dryer that week, so I will plan on utilizing that. And then Saturday, we will wake up in Indian Rocks. We will go ahead and check out of our VRBO. We will drop my mom and Matt's mom. I don't know if I've mentioned that or if you've watched um, a couple of previous videos, but my mom and Matt's mom are coming with us to the beach. So we will drop them off over at the airport in Tampa. And then the five of us, myself, Matt, Aubrey, Ben, and Kyle, will drive all the way across I-4 and go to Disney for a week. We will be staying um, using our DVC points at the Poly. Super excited about that. Same room that whole week. So when I was thinking through packing, I didn't want to pack for two weeks because that's a crazy amount of stuff. So I really, in my mind was thinking, okay, we have access to a washer and dryer the week of the beach, so I can do laundry then. At Disney, I really don't like to do laundry. I could if I had to, but for me, I just really don't want to spend my time doing laundry. So I packed to be able to get us through the days that we're gonna be in Disney if I didn't do any laundry. So that was kind of my thinking. And then basically what I packed for the second part of our trip, we're just gonna rewear the first part of the trip, if that makes sense. So I really packed thinking about our Disney trip and how many days in the parks, um, how many resort days we have, how many swimsuits we need, um, and then really just plan on wearing all of that stuff when we're at the beach. I did add in a couple of extra like nicer outfits for the kids and when I say nice I mean like little collared um, shirt for the boys um, and little shorts. Aubrey has a couple of cute little outfits we can wear like out to dinner. So I tried to make this as easy on myself as possible and it felt a lot easier when I was packing. Definitely didn't seem as overwhelming in the past. I will say that I have one separate bag that's going to be an overnight bag. Actually, hang on, let me go get it. Okay, so this bag I got off Amazon and it is a Dagny Dover um, dupe. I love it, it feels exactly like Dagny Dover. The inside is a little different pattern, but looks exactly like their Weekender bag. So I purchased this, I will let you guys know how it goes, um, but I purchased this with the intent of using this as an overnight bag for myself and the kids and Matt for everything we need on Friday night when we go to Atlanta. So that way I don't have to drag all of the suitcases in. So this will have everything we need for that night. I also thought ahead to Saturday. So Saturday we will be driving from Atlanta to my aunt and uncle's house and then we'll get my mom from my aunt and uncle's house and then drive to the beach. 
that's gonna be a long day on top of probably a lot of traffic because it's Memorial Day weekend. So I thought ahead and also put a packing cube in this that is anything we would need on Saturday night if it's a late night. So kids pajamas. I also packed swimsuits for myself and the kids for Sunday morning. So that way, if I don't touch any of the suitcases and don't like unpack stuff until Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, totally fine because I just need basically what's in here. Um, also have toiletries. Let me show you. So I have this little bag here. This is, this bag is the, um, cow pack dupe I found on Amazon as well. So I will link that below. Um, let you guys know how this works out. Um, but I really just have like travel sizes, um, of stuff in there to get us through on Friday night. And then if we need to take a shower, like Saturday night, um, all the stuff is in there as well. So that is my thinking as far as packing. Um, I hope it works. I will let you guys know. Um, but in my head, as I was like thinking through all this stuff, it, it made sense. Um, and it seemed to be the easiest on all of us, especially, you know, for Matt not having to drag all the suitcases in on Friday. Um, and then on Saturday, really, once we get to the condo, we just have to take all the suitcases in, but everything we'll need for the evening and for Sunday morning would be in this. Okay, let me flip you around and I will talk you through Aubrey's suitcase and Ben and Kyle's suitcase. Okay, so this suitcase right here is our full carry-on size. It does have the zipper um, that gives you about an extra inch of space, which is really nice. I don't believe they carry this pattern anymore. Let's see if I can get you a good picture of it. It's their um, little Minnie Mouse with the ears um, floral print, but I will get you something, I will link something below that's similar to that. And then I have the boys in our larger away carry-on, so I'll go over that in a minute. I tried to make the footprint as small as I could with the kids' suitcases, just because we are gonna have our luggage for the five of us. We're gonna have um, my mother-in-law's luggage, so Matt's mom's luggage, and then we're gonna have my mom's luggage for the trip from my aunt and uncle's house to the beach. So I tried to make our footprint as small as possible so we can rearrange these smaller suitcases however we need. Okay, so in Aubrey's on this left side that zips up, I have one larger packing cube um, and I got these off Amazon, so I will link these below. They're bag smart, they're compression, but I don't use them for compression to be quite honest. Aubrey wanted to bring two pairs of Mickey ears, or sorry, mini ears. We have outfits in here. So like I said, I have kind of a mix of some nicer, cuter outfits that she can wear when we go out to dinner. And then I also have some like cooler, um, more athletic wear, especially for Disney um, when we're there. So I have a mix of both of those outfits, everything in there. So there's that side and I have one towel rolled up here. Okay, on this side, I have two little pairs of sandals for her. They're reef sandals. They're super adorable, super comfy. They're a little bit um, dressier for her. So we're bringing those two. We're bringing one pair of sneakers. Um, for all the walking that we do in Disney and then the kids are wearing their Crocs in the car just because they're easy slide on slide off So this one I'm not going to open it for you, but it has PJs. It has socks. It has her um, underwear and swimsuits. So all of that stuff is in there. I have these um, These headphones I ordered actually not even headphones. They're just for sound. I got these for Kyle. He we have some um, we have some reservations for some of the fireworks stuff this trip, and he in the past has not been a fan of the noise of the fireworks. He likes looking at them, but the noise bothers him. So I purchased these super cheap on Am off Amazon. I will leave a link below. I've got those with me, and I'll bring them with um, when we go to the fireworks, just in case if he needs them. But he's getting a little older, so I'm interested to see how he does with them now. Okay. Let me put all this stuff back, zip it up, and then I will move you over to Kyle and Ben's. Okay, you guys, I've got this side zipped up. This side is all back and fastened, and now I'm going to zip everything up, and we'll get this one all loaded into the car. Okay, so this is the Away Bigger Carry-On that we have. I typically use this for work, but it was another small carry-on suitcase. 
that's Aubrey's, the fool that we're using. And this is the one that I'm using for both of the boys. I was able to put their stuff in. So on the left, this side zippers up just like the um, full suitcase does. I have more packing cubes and I have the boys color coded. So because Ben loves the bangles, he's in orange and Kyle is in black because it's the other color I had. I won't open these two up, but there is PJs, there is swimsuits, there is socks, and there's underwear for each of the boys in there. And then on this right side, it has this tab here with the um, compression buckles. So again, I have two sets of packing cubes here, black for Kyle, orange for Ben. I have similar outfits for both of them, but they're probably not gonna wear them on the same day. So you can see I've got like some nice, nicer collared shirts for the boys. If we go out to dinner, I have some nice little khaki shorts for them. And then everything else in here is like just athletic clothes. So um, just really airy, comfy shorts and tank tops that are really breathable and like the UV stuff. So really just planning on a couple nice dinners and a lot of lounging and walking at Disney. Um, I did have this. Matt bought this off Amazon. It's um, kind of like a boomerang, but it's a little guy that's on a um, surfboard. So if I can find it on Amazon, I will link that as well. Okay, let me close everything up here and then I will move you to my stuff. So there we have both of the suitcases for the kids for our two week adventure. So now on to myself. I am using um, the same set as I'm using for Aubrey. It's just the medium. Um, this does have that zipper as well that comes up and gives you about an extra inch of space. Um, so my packing, I did the same as the kids. So it's really just thinking about what I'm gonna need for Disney, adding in like one or two extra outfits that I could wear to go to a nice dinner at the beach, and then just re-wearing everything from the week at the beach over at Disney. So I am packing two park bags. So I have this, which is the Jumbo um, jumbo Fanny Pack from Stony Clover. It's a really light purple color, and I added this patch to it, which I thought was super cute. And then my favorite book bag, it is from their Star Wars collection, which is no longer, unfortunately, but um, it's a really cute print. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but... Um, super light color, purple color as well. And then it's got my favorite little I know patch on there. So I alternate between those two for park bags at Disney, just depending on what we've got going on, what we have planned. So if we're gonna be in the park for larger amounts of time, I usually take this. Um, if we're doing just small hours here and there, I usually take that. Have all of my items here. So this right here, um, this little bag I have and you guys are gonna laugh but it takes a village and it takes a lot when you've got five a family of five and magic bands and all the things so I've got chargers for our magic band plus I have the magic band plus one for each of us in here and then I have an extra magic band plus for each of us in there I always like to bring a backup just in case um, these I ordered off Amazon um, they are bit belts they are wonderful and have truly saved us from losing magic bands a time or two. So I have this bag that's going in here. Um, I should preference, I am taking up this side and this side over here is for Matt. So, um, okay, all of my good stuff. Obviously, um, I'm just turned 40. Here, let me turn you around. So I have just turned 40, um, very much health conscious, health aware, um, very much into supplements and taking care of my body and doing all the things that I can. Obviously, going 100% organic, uh, I can't do, but there are certain things that I can do and certain habits and things that I do on a daily basis that do help me to feel better. Um, one of those things is I'm a very big advocate for Arbonne products. So going to be gone for two weeks, 
14 days, actually it's 16 days, is a lot and uh, requires a lot of things over 14 days, well, 16 days for myself. So I will briefly kind of talk about this stuff, but if you have any questions or if I can talk you through how this stuff has helped me, um, I would love to do that and I'm happy to share my experience with you. Um, obviously everyone's different. You do you, I'm gonna do me. And yeah, okay, let me turn you back around and I will talk you through kind of what I have and what I'm bringing and what I take on a daily basis. Okay, so this is probably a much prettier way to package all this, but I went just the more convenient route because when I am done with this bag, I can reuse it when we're at Disney for snacks and all the things. Um, so first thing, every day um, in the morning on an empty stomach, I take this green Synergy Elixir. Um, that has all the good stuff for your gut, your probiotics, um, for your um, your hair, your nails, all that stuff. So I love that. This has kind of a citrus flavor. So you just mix it with water and ice and then you drink it in the morning. So along with that, I take their um, fizz and I love their mango peach flavor. This uh, Arbonne's fizz is all natural. So it's plant-based um, caffeine. Um, I'm very, um, very migraine sensitive, but this, I have no problems with at all. So I do one of those, sometimes I do two of those a day depending on what I need. And these have 55 milligrams of caffeine in them. I am trying to wean off pop um, and all of that. So these are helping me get there for sure. Um, and then next up, so they have Arbonne's, I don't know if you can see that, they're biotic sticks. So this has a different prebiotic and probiotic than what is in the Green Synergy Elixir. So using these both in conjunction has really helped my gut health and just made a huge, huge difference, I can tell, in the last year. I think that's it. Yeah, so really just those three things. Um, I do have liquid IV um, just to help keep me hydrated. So I do have a pack of that. Okay, next, uh, disposable contacts. I have this really cute bag here I got from um, Amy Small World, so I will link her below. Super cute pattern. I don't know if she still has this, but I loved it and thought it was super cute and florally and summery and all the things. So I have uh, more than enough disposable contacts there. I actually packed for 20 days and we're only going to be gone 16. So I have a couple extra in there. So this has pajamas. So I've got pajamas in here. This has socks and underwear in it. And this has all of my um, bras and, and sports bras and little tube tops that I wear underneath dresses and stuff. Um, and this uh, back here, I have all of the um, my athletic wear that I'm going to wear to Disney. So tank tops, um, my comfy running shorts. I've got a couple pair of biker shorts and some t-shirts in there. Um, so all of that is there. And these, this is all of the other stuff um, that I have like just comfier stuff and nicer stuff. I have some athletic dresses in there. I have some of these um, little athletic like rompers in there. Um, those are from Amazon, that's from Amazon. This is a little um, cute little set I got from um, Old Navy that I'll link below as well, but I'll link the Amazon stuff just so you guys have an idea of what I'm taking. And then you'll obviously see me wearing them in the vlogs too. So again, tried to pack not as much as I normally do, just really realizing that we will have a washer and dryer the week at the beach, and then whatever we have that week, we're just gonna wash and rewear everything for the second week. So, okay, now on to this bag. This is a, my beloved camo tote from LL Bean. I love this. They now make it with the zipper. I don't have the zipper, but I have every size and the one that doesn't have a zipper and I actually have two of them because I love them so much. Um, this is my extra toiletries, extra things that I don't necessarily want to go in the suitcase, but I want to have A, easy access to and B, I really don't need it until we get to um, our condo at the beach. So in here, I always pack somewhere near the top an extra entire outfit for the kids. My kids are out of diapers. I don't carry a diaper bag with me anymore, but you just never know when you need an entire extra outfit. So shorts, t-shirt, and underwear for each of the three kids are in here. Again, um, I could probably package it a lot nicer, but when you're at Disney, you can never have too many Ziploc bags. So I've got that in there. I have a hat for Aubrey and a hat for myself that we're gonna need. This cute little Sunny Clover bag. 
Okay, let me show you what I got in these. So I have some of these. I have one with all of my hair things in them. Let me make sure that closes. There we go. Here it snap. Um, so I have that. I have another one for Aubrey in there. I have one for the little floss pickers. Um, and then I have Q-tips in there. And then I also have um, Band-Aids, Neosporin, all that stuff. So I have that in this one. And in this cute little Baby Yoda print. Um, I'm sorry, Rogu. Um, in here I have um, this bag is from Stony Clover as well. Um, Star Wars collection no longer no longer available unfortunately. You can probably find um, a good one on Poshmark or eBay. Um, this has all of my feminine products in it, and then I have two um, pop up hampers. So I really with with three kids it's hard to stay organized. So I found these are the best way to keep all the laundry organized. Um, so I have two of them because as a family of five, we do create a lot of laundry. So I will link these below. I got them on Amazon set of two. And then in this, I always throw in some extra. These are extra large toilet seat covers. I have purchased these off Amazon for years and years. My, I've used these with all three of my kids when they were potty training and we have to go to the bathroom out in public. They are so nice though that I even take these with me when I go on my work trips just because airport bathrooms, you know what I'm saying. So I have extra of those and then all of this stuff. So I always struggle with toiletries for myself and the kids because I'm like, do I take a full one? Because if I take a full one, I always have to bring stuff back or do I take 20 of the little sample sizes of stuff because that's how many my family of five will go through in a week slash two week period. So um, I ended up just going with the sample sizes because when we're done, I'm just gonna pitch them. I know that's not the best for the environment, but it's just what I came to for this trip. So I have a little disposable razor in there. I have another razor that I have in the overnight bag. I have a set of all this stuff in the overnight bag, but this is just extra as we move through the week and we need more stuff. And an extra toothpaste, or tooth, excuse me, toothbrush for each of us. I went ahead and purchased sunscreen and aloe and all the things back here at home, thinking that it might be a few dollars cheaper than if I purchase it in a beach town, especially on, you know, holiday weekend. So this tote bag, love. Um, it's gonna have all like our extra toiletry stuff in there. Let me move you over. I have a couple more things and then I think we should be good. Okay, so next up is my large um, it's black Dagny Dover book bag. You guys, I love this thing. I bought this when I travel for work to put my work laptop and take as my carry on. I love it because it's just so functional. So I love, there's a little, um, space in the top that I always put my, um, cell phone in when I'm going through the airport. So I don't have to carry it. It has, the luggage straps here so I can put it on top of my away luggage when I take that on trips. It has two big, um, two big uh, pouches on the side that you can put stuff in. It has a nice space down here that zips. Inside of it, it's really nice because, I'm oh, sorry, you guys know I can put one here. Um, so this is where I keep my work laptop back here. It's in like a padded zipper area. And then, or I'm not a zipper, um, a padded Velcro area. So that goes down like that. And then you do have some nice extra storage space in there. Um, you have some extra zipper pockets. So I am bringing this, no intentions of taking this to the park. However, I have to bring my work laptop, work cell phone, work laptop charger, all the things. I do have to um, keep in touch uh, two weeks while I'm gone with work. So. I am bringing this because this does have extra padding that my Stony Clover does not. So not taking this to the park. This is strictly to house my work computer um, just to keep it very safe on our travels. Um, so anyways, love this, love this. We'll link it down below as well. So obviously five people, three of them are kids. We have um, chargers galore, all the things. Electronics is something that I struggle with on every trip, especially Disney trips, because you have magic bands, you have magic band chargers, you have all of the things that goes with them, right? So 
found this on Amazon and I will link it below. It is amazing. It has what, 12 separate chargers there. So this charges into the wall and then you have spaces for 12 chargers. So I can charge the iPads. I can charge all of our magic bands um, and still have a couple of free things in there to charge. Also in bringing this as well in case we need a set of six somewhere else. Um, this is off Amazon. This is really good. So I will link this and I will link the other one as well. Okay. Um, for those of you that go to Disney, you know that you need um, external chargers for your cell phone because you're constantly on your phone. Genie Plus, all the things. So I have two different external chargers that I like. Both of them for different reasons. So when I am in the park, I have this one and I was influenced by TikTok. I can't tell you why. However, I got it and it's so lightweight and it actually made sense in my head when I looked at it. Going through the park, trying to keep track of three kids, plus my husband, plus make sure we're where we need to be with dining reservations and Genie Plus and all the things. So I purchased this from Anchor. I will leave a link to it if I can find it on Amazon below, um, I'll leave a link. So I have this that the plan is to keep charged and carry with me in the parks. Um, only negative thing about this is you have to externally charge it with um, a cord that I have in here that will plug into this, that plugs into the wall to charge it every night. I love this one for different reasons. So um, if we're sitting in the hotel, if we're sitting by the beach or by the pool, this one I can probably use a little more. Um, so this has all the cords attached. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. This has all the cords attached that you would need. So there's one there to charge my iPhone, um, charge the iPads, any of that stuff as you need. So it has a few different cords on there. And then when you need to charge it, it has this on the back that plugs right into the wall, which is super nice. All right, hang on, I gotta let Maverick in. A few more things to go over of what we're packing. Um, so this is my beloved large bog bag. I will link this down below. Love this thing. It actually has sand in here from our last trip, which is <laughs> a little depressing um, and a little, a little exciting too. See a little sand pile down there. Um, so this is twofold. Obviously we use this for the pool, for the beach, but I also put snacks and food and anything that we would want for the car ride. Um, I throw in here so that it has double duty. It's carrying all of that stuff and I put it right in the middle of the second row so it's easily reachable. And we also use it when we get to the beach for our beach bag and then at Disney for our pool bag. So I will link this down below as well. Um, next up is my cute little Toy Story Stony Clover pouch. Um, has all of our medicine in it that we could possibly need for two weeks. Um, I found these off Amazon. They are great. So I just threw a whole bunch of ibuprofen and Tylenol in this one. I've got allergy med medicine in the other one. Um, a few of allergies in the Midwest. They're Slonase. You know, you know. I have Dramamine for kids and for adults. Um, we do have one of our kids gets car sick, so I've got that for um, preemptive for them that we always use and then I found these throw up bags that we're gonna keep with us and give a go this time so we've got those and then this is my other stony clover large pouch um, love toy story so I've got this and three little cute pouches um, I typically carry this day to day anyways and so I have this little um, small stony clover here and this has a small thing of like ibuprofen and Tylenol. Um, also have chapstick and some hair ties in there that I take. So I will have that bag along with the other Stony Clover jumbo um, fanny pack and um, the book bag for um, all of our park bags and all the, the bags. Um, this next thing, we're getting near the end, I promise. Um, so this next thing I found off Amazon and this is that same kind of neoprene material that um, my Dagny Dover bag and that overnight like dupe bag is. So this is for curling iron, straightener, any um, of like your hair tools or accessories. So it goes in here, but when you're at a hotel, this can, it can lay hot on here and it's not gonna ruin um, like the sink that you have there. So I've had this for a little bit, um, got off Amazon, I'll link it below, has worked really great. 
And then I have these two um, other Stony Clover knockoffs, um, big pouches. One I put my Dyson hair dryer in, and the other I put all of our hair brushes in. So this and this with my straightener will go in the overnight bag. Um, what else, you guys? Oh, last but not least. So these are my new obsession. I have been using Dashing Diva for like a year now, a year and a half, and I have recently found their, um, it's called Glaze, so you need the LED um, semi-cured, the LED light, so you got this little cheap one that comes with it, and it works great, and I love these, you guys. So I've got this fun, like, pink peach-ish peach -ish color that I'm going to do. There's a pedicure and manicure in there. Um, I'm going to do that for um, the beach week, and then um, I actually just did Aubrey in the same one like this, only it's all white. Turned out really, really cute. And then I have an extra for Aubrey that we'll bring to do for when we go to Disney. So there's a pedicure and manicure for her. And then I'm going to bring white for myself to do for when we're at Disney. So um, super easy, super fun, super user friendly. Um, you don't have to be like a whiz or anything. They're literally just like stickers that you just find the size that fits your nail. Put them on, trim them down, throw them under the light. I usually do them twice under this light that's timed. Um, and then you just file away the extra on your nail and no damage and they look really great and they last really long too and a whole lot cheaper than going to get your nails done these days. So anyways, did that for Aubrey today and I will do mine probably tomorrow and you guys, I think that's it. I mean, obviously Matt still has to pack, but typical guy, he'll put it all together at the last minute. All right, let me flip you around real quick. I have a visitor. Isn't he precious? He's so sweet. All right, you guys, that about wraps it up. Thank you for hanging in there. I know this is pretty chaotic. What are you packing vlog? Um, but I just wanted to talk through, I know I've done some pack with me's before, um, and I've been very scattered as far as what I didn't know what would work best for our family of five. Um, we've done split stays before we've done wood week trips. Um, I've tried all sorts of things and this is just another thing to try for a two week trip of just packing for one week and packing for the, the harder week and just planning on reusing everything for the first week. So I will let you all know how that works out. And, um, Thank you for watching. I am so thankful and grateful that you're here. Um, if you could give this video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you. We have all sorts of fun vlogs coming. Um, like I said, we're gonna be Indian Rocks for a week and then at Disney for a week and I will have vlogs uh, headed your way for all of that. Um, I do have to caveat that. Um, I did in my announcement video mention this as well, but the kids being the ages they are, Aubrey's nine, Ben is seven, Kyle's six. They do have times and spaces where they just don't wanna film, but they still wanna have the videos for, um, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm giving Maverick some love on his belly. Um, they still wanna have the videos for memories and, and all of the things. So it's just trying to find that balance of being respectful when they don't feel like it, but also finding ways of still recording things so we can have memories from our trip. So I do plan to vlog. I don't know what it's gonna look like, um, but we have some fun things planned the next few weeks and I hope that you will come back and stay with us. All right guys, have a great day. We'll talk soon, bye.